ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. It's just, uh, it's, it's amazing over there. No, definitely. Um, and you're coming back, you're currently in Greece right now, from what I understand, and you're coming back for all of 2021 right now. What the heck is it like traveling during this pandemic outside of America and then back to Greece? What is that like right now? It's weird. It's weird and it's, uh, it's tough. It's not easy because now I'm going to have to leave Greece, go in a country outside, outside of the Schengen area that it's not uh, that they are permitted to enter the US, stay there quarantined for 14 days to be able to get to the to US. And does so that happen not... at the airport or where do you go? Like how does, because I, I think a lot of people don't understand what the 14 day quarantine is even like. So basically I just, uh, me, myself, I will go to Serbia. I'll go to Serbia. I'll stay there a couple of weeks, you know, either a hotel or a Airbnb or something like that. You stay there and you do a, a test again at the end of those days and you're good to go. So, I don't know. I don't know if it helps that I have a P1 visa as well, but I think uh, you could do it uh, either way. Why? Well, even if you didn't have the visa, I think just the the mindset of doing the 14 days in Serbia, like that, almost sounds like a boxing movie. You're doing 14 days in Serbia in an Airbnb, basically just sitting in your room, getting room service just to train with Abel. I mean, if that doesn't scare young fighters to want to fight you. I mean, that's a different mindset because there's a lot of guys that are, that live in San Francisco, went to LA for a training camp and complain about doing that. And you're coming halfway across the world in the global pandemic just to try to chase a dream. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, sometimes it's uh, what you give, it will come back. If, if you're not giving enough to what you want, probably you'll not achieve it. Uh, and what, what uh, Abel was telling me all the time while we were working, he was saying that from what's happening right now, you know, when, when we were tired, when, let's say, like a phrase, when we didn't want to continue or something like that, he would say that somebody has to pay for that. Somebody has to pay for that work that you're putting in. Well, with me, it's a little extra. Somebody has to pay also for the two weeks in Belgrade and uh, all those other stuff, all those other sacrifices.